Yeah, well, technically that's like they don't have to remove it. Yeah, but some you'll find someone that will be a bit smarter, and they'll be like, "Fuck you, you can't do anything," and you can't. <laughs> so like, I wouldn't worry about trying to get rid of things. Like, there's just a bunch of people out there that try to like get their get their start from like trying to like prey on other people. Yeah, but they're, ne they're never going to win. So, like, who cares? Someone who's doing that as a strategy, I'd almost laugh. Like, that's, that's not even a strategy. Yeah, I just called him out in the blog thread. I was like, this guy is a competitor, clearly not as good, zero case studies, and I just, like, tore apart his funnel. And then the guy emailed me back, apologized, emailed the blog person and they took the whole thread down. I wouldn't even look. Because if they make me spend one minute of time, then like, they've done, they've harmed me in some way. But if I don't even give, if I don't even know, they haven't touched me. Yeah. Or they haven't wasted any of my time. And I know in the long term I will still win. So like, against them for sure. So like, that's satisfying enough for me. Yeah. So I just ignore it. Like, I don't even look. Because if I did look, then I would worry. And you can't, no one has enough discipline to look and not worry. <laughs> so the only solution is not to look. And the only exception to that is if it's customers, actual ones, you have to look at that. That's a legitimate concern. So if in my customer group people were saying shit, I'd read all of that. Mm. But if it's like just a bunch of idiots just talking like all sorts of nonsense, like I don't even look. Because mm. people say negative stuff about everyone. Like just Google like anyone that's ever done anything and you'll find thousands of things. Mm. Up as an objection, would that I don't be know. a concern? That never really popped up as an objection for me. What do you guys do? Um, it's just from people that are pissed off online and then I'll just express that point and then let it sit with them. If they want to come and buy, they buy, but if not, it's no big deal. If you look hard enough, you'll see my customers at war with the people. I don't even have to get involved. That's, how, that, that's what happens if you don't get involved. So I never engage in any of those, but now when I look at some of those things, my customers are in there being like, this is bullshit. Like, that's a good sign, and you just let that happen. But I'm never going to get involved, because you almost look guilty when you get involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you, you don't. You be bothered deleting. You just don't look. Right yeah, and I would never delete, ever, because that's the ultimate sign of guilt. Like, oh shit, this this can't be here. Yeah. It's, like, I just leave it all there. Because if you really didn't care and it really wasn't true, then why do you even delete it? I took your advice on that, yeah, mm. 18 months ago. I did the same, where I just don't care. But the people I work with really care about their negative comments. And I yeah, everyone will go through that when they're like a beginner, you know? Like, because when you're a normal civilian, generally no one says anything about you on the internet. 
<laughs> but when you're no longer a civilian, like, and you've got, you're like reaching hundreds of thousands, or in my case, hun like we've served hundreds of millions of impressions. Yeah. There's bound to be a whole bunch of stuff. And so that's normal. And if you can't handle that, then you're not, you're not cut out for it. Yeah. Yeah, but like that doesn't really do anything. You like there's freedom of speech, right? Like Donald Trump couldn't trademark his name, which is already trademarked, and then say no one could talk about me. Like, yeah, I, wouldn't, I would just <laughs> that say, doesn't like, work for people that would potentially like rip off your stuff. Pardon? If someone's trying to rip off your stuff or clone it or whatever. I mean, that's not even really a trademark thing. That's more like in like copyright IP kind of thing and that's a problem with like online courses I mean you should have some you should fight it like we have a contractor that works with us that actively takes things down like these are the pirated things right we actively go after all of those and take them down and close their PayPal accounts and freeze things and we actively fight that but we don't do anything about people that just say, oh, I don't like that guy. Yeah, I, They're allowed to say whatever they want. But when someone's like stealing our shit and trying to sell it, that's different. Yeah. No. You don't need to be trademarked. Like if someone's legitimately like selling your things illegally, like PayPal will rip them apart. Sam, um, tell me more about that. I've had my stuff copied and you can buy it for 90 bucks. What are you saying? How do you go after these people? You, you can't really. You can only just get it taken down. But, but how do you do that? Well, like, there's the um, DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Like, you've probably seen some things at the bottom of Google that says stuff's removed. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, you need a, like, DMCA takedown contractor, basically. Right. And what they basically do is they set up, like, keywords, like, what's the one we use that's in... Pardon? It's called Zar or something. Something Zar. <coughs> Take down Zar or something. Have you heard of this? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I think between... We pay that company like 500 bucks a month. And then I'm pretty sure we pay it... Like, we've got another guy we pay, like an individual guy probably like two grand a month. So we only spend about two and a half grand a month on that. And we don't fix that problem, like there's still, but we make it hard, yeah. And then that's all you can really do. And how do you go about taking out their PayPal account? Because that's what this guy does. So what, is someone physically on your behalf writing to PayPal saying, telling the story? Well, we ju he just figures out what, like he want, becomes, like wants to be a customer knows what the PayPal account is and then goes around to PayPal and reports it and they freeze the account. And then they create a new one and we freeze the new one and we just keep uh, relentlessly just fucking with them until they stop selling our course. Right. Mm. Do you sue them as well? Pardon? If you know who it is, do you sue them? Or? Do you know how hard it is to sue somebody? So you just, you just warn them and then... It's like a, a big job, yeah. right? Like, it's that's going to take like money. some years and like a shitload of money and like a lot of time. So like, you don't do that for that. Yeah. Yeah, we thought about like, uh, we knew one guy, we thought about, okay, if we show that we have no mercy, then people won't do it quicker. Mm. It's honestly, you should just have like a contractor that takes stuff down, but that's like all you should do. Yeah. Like if you're thinking about it, I honestly don't think about it at all like every like in the last month it hasn't even been a thought yeah because you're mostly going to get results by just focusing on your customer making your product better hiring good people watching your cash flow not dealing with that yeah